Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ninja from Reborn Knights bringing to you a unboxing slash review of my new Techni Sports uh, computer chair. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the time lapse of me actually putting the chair together and then we'll end up coming back to do a review for it. Stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right into uh, my review uh, while the uh, time lapse is going on in the background. So I've never owned a DX racer chair or any kind of a sports chair. Um, I've sat on them and stuff at, at like LAN events. Um, but in comparison to like uh, DX racer or uh, is it o Omega, um, I really like the, the quality of the uh, actual chair itself. The leather uh, on it is really nice. I did only have two complaints um, personally myself while uh, putting the chair together and actually sitting in it. Um, first off being the armrest. Um, they they are movable up and down, but the uh, issue that I have with them is that they're a little loose and they do move back and forth. Um, and if you're not careful, you can actually turn them sideways. Um, I think that it has more or less to do with like, the locking mechanism. I thought that it had to do with it. It wasn't tightened up enough underneath, but I actually ended up going as tight as I possibly can. Um, and it still didn't end up resolving the issue. Um, that's perfectly fine though because I'm really not going to be using the armrest that much anyway. Um, I even debated on not even putting them on. Um, the other big issue that I ended up having with it was the, uh, the bolts that end up coming with the actual uh, chair itself. I uh, all came in one bag, um, which I guess really is not that big of an issue um, because on the paper itself or the instructions on how to how to put the chair together, it tells you um, the small bolts end up getting used for the actual like bottom of the chair. And longer bolts go for the uh, backrest, and then there's a smaller one that goes for the uh, covers for the back uh, for the um, reclining feature. Um, so, I mean, it, it had a description on the actual um, contents of the uh, instruction manual on which bolt was for what, but I'm kind of used to a lot of other, um, I guess, companies and instructions on how they have individual pouches for each thing so you're not losing them um, because they did in, end up in the instructions have them labeled uh, in alphabetical order. Um, so it was kind of hard to know about which uh, bolt it was until I ended up kind of getting a better look at them. Um, so that's my only other complaint that I ended up having about it, um, other than the um, armrest um, would be, I, I guess I guess I did have technically one more issue, um, which was the uh, Allen wrench that ended up coming with it. Um, actually ended up getting stripped uh, pretty quickly to where I actually ended up having to use my own Allen uh, wrench to actually um, put it back to or to use. Um, in the video itself that you end up seeing. I end up uh, putting the chair completely together and actually whenever I sat down in it and actually tried to use the um, the lower and uh, heightened feature of the hydraulic por uh, portion of it, I actually ended up putting the solenoid on wrong and actually didn't end up putting it in the groove that it should have been to actually allow that feature to work. So I actually had to take the uh, chair completely uh, apart on the bottom portion of it and whenever I was doing so, the Allen wrench or Allen key that ended up coming with the actual chair ended up stripping so I actually had to use my own to uh, use uh, to actually put it back together um, I guess those are my only three complaints so the uh, bolts were in, all in one package together the Allen key and the armrest other than that like, like as I said before I'm not even I debated on even using the armrest anyway um, but overall, I really like the chair. I, I think it's pretty awesome. We are actually giving away one of the chairs, and they come in a variety of different colors, um, which I'll actually end up posting up right now, the actual ad and stuff for it. Um, you can head over to our Twitter, which is twitter.com backslash reborn nights. It's actually on our pinned uh, tab, which uh, has the link and stuff, which I'll also be including in the description of this video that you can click on to actually win your own uh, racing or your uh, own um, chair that you can uh, end up using and you can you have to choose the color and they will actually ship it directly to you. So um, other than that, uh, I really am super excited to actually uh, try out my chair long term and see if it ends up helping because um, I actually have some slight back and uh, hip problems and stuff from um, the fall that I ended up having uh, with the reason why I have my sling on. So I'm hoping that this chair will end up giving me a little bit more comfort and make it a little bit um, 
speedier recovery without ad adding any additional strain or uh, irritation on my joints and uh, muscles. So we'll end up seeing. Um, but I appreciate you guys for uh, sticking by to watch the video. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to actually see some of the additional features that the chair has. So I'm going to show off some additional features that the chair has on the handle for the armrest. It actually has a, a heightening and lowering mechanism. It also has a reclining feature for the actual uh, top part of the chair. Obviously with it being any type of computer chair, it has the lowering mechanism, the hydraulics. And then one of the cooler features that I didn't end up getting in the last video that I ended up doing was the pillow pad actually can move up and down due to the straps that I ended up showing in the video before. Um, they actually end up going through the holes that you can see here at the very top and coming down through the back and then coming out from the very bottom underneath the seat and then strapping in the middle there, um, allowing the pillow to actually move up and down to where you can have it fit and be comfortable anywhere on your back. Thanks again guys for watching the video and if you did it up and in enjoying the video make sure you slap that like button and to stay up to date with anything we end up posting over here on Reborn Knights channel make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, this is Ninja and I'm out.